Well, this is really personal for us um, today. I, um, both of us have had the opportunity to testify in the hearings um, for AB 2943. Um, thank you. Um, and that was not something that we expected to happen. Um, we did not expect to be sitting in a room with a lot of legislators breathing down our necks in the nicest of ways and asking us questions and having us talk about the most sensitive, embarrassing, you know, parts of our lives. But, but we did. And what was shocking was a couple of the legislators said things like, well, we don't believe that exists. After we shared, hey, we actually have left homosexuality. Um, the path that God led us on led us out of homosexuality. And then after that, um, a couple of them said things like, well, we don't believe that, that those people exist. We don't believe that that can happen. Which that's pretty personal when that's your life story, right? It's kind of like, oh. And then, um, and then they wrapped up that particular hearing saying, well, this is about being inclusive. And so I just said, well, I feel excluded. <laughs> um, but today is a day about, about freedom in America. I, I walked out of that hearing just a few weeks ago for the first time in my life feeling discriminated against. Like, I'm a, I'm a white male. I, I have a lot of blessings in life, it, it, admittedly. I've, I've never dealt with any kind of discrimination. I dealt with a lot of mockery and rejection for being effeminate growing up. Um, but I've never been discriminated against. I, I was the first time I ever in my life felt dis totally, specifically discriminated against. And it was because of AB 2943. Um, so it means a lot for you to come out today and to rally around us to protect people that are questioning their sexuality. Um, LGBTQ, the Q means queer or questioning. There are many people, more and more today, that are questioning their sexuality. Who am I? What is my identity? It's more than what will my sexual behavior be. It's who am I? What is my identity? How do I represent myself to other people? Do I represent as a male or a female? Or do I feel comfortable with neither of those? And, and we are here today to protect those people's, that, that minority, that super minority of people's right to get whatever help that they want. So we come today making an appeal to the world and to lawmakers that let us decide our sexual identity. You are the one most qualified to determine your sexual identity. That seems pretty obvious to me. I should decide who I'm going to be. And I want to introduce to you, let's have all of the all of the once gay people stand up. You've got the black shirts on. Give these people a hand. about who you are and God leads you on a pathway into loving who you are knowing who you are there's something really special that happens those those are a, a people that really appreciate love in a way that maybe not everybody experiences they really value being valued because I guarantee you every one of us went through a period if not decades of feeling very rejected, very alone, and like you don't fit with anybody. So these people are going to stand up here courageously and share uh, their testimonies and tell you about why they feel it's so important that lawmakers not take away freedom today. 
Um, so, give him a hand. And so we're going to jump right into it. Our first, uh, our first, oh, yes, I forgot. Um, this right here, this book called Changed, it's Once Gay Stories. This uh, we created in a three-week period of time. So we got the idea just a few weeks ago, hey, the lawmaker said that we don't exist, but we know that we do, so we just reached out to the people that we knew. So overnight, uh, we had about 40 people that we were able to get in touch with that have this, this story of coming out of homosexuality, and 37 of them were brave enough to actually go public, and um, you can read their stories um, in this book. You can go to oncegay.com, you can read all these stories there. We have an Instagram, um, it's once gay, one word. And, um, and so we went, we signed, we had all of these, these folks sign their pages of this book. And then yesterday, we all went in a group to all 40 senators' offices and handed them this book. So, I am counting on the good hearts of every one of the lawmakers that will recognize that their efforts to protect the freedoms of one group should not take away freedoms from a subset of that group. So, um, go to oncegay.com, you can read uh, these and more stories will be added as time goes on. And our first one today is Darren Mel.